Hello everybody, I am Dr. Jitendra Pandey and today we will discuss about Android security. In this lecture, we are going to discuss the guidelines that you should consider when setting up your Android phone or devices like tablets which are based on Android operating system. Let us start our discussion with one of the most important concerns that is restricting access to your phone. First of all, enable lock SIM card. This feature could be found under setting, personal, security and setup SIM card lock tab. This will mean that you must enter a PIN number in order to unlock your SIM card each time your phone is switched on. Without the PIN, no phone calls can be made. Set up a screen lock. This can be found under settings, personal, security and screen lock tab, which will ensure that a code pattern or a password needs to be entered in order to unlock the screen once it has been locked. We recommend using a pin or password option as these are not restricted by length. Set the security lock timer which will automatically lock your phone after a specified time. You can specify a value which suits you depending on how regularly you are willing to have to unlock your phone. Another security related concern is device encryption. If your device use Android version 4.0 or newer, you should turn on device encryption. This can be done in settings, personal, security and encryption tab. Before you can utilize device encryption, however, you will be required to set up a screen lock password. Please note that before starting the encryption process, ensure the phone is fully charged and plugged into a power source. Next is network settings. Turn off Wi-Fi and Bluetooth by default. Ensure that threatening and portable hotspots under wireless and network settings are switched off when not in use. These settings can be verified under settings, wireless and networks, more threatening and mobile hotspot tab. If your device supports near field communication, this will be switched on by default and so must be switched off manually. Location settings. Switch off wireless and GPS locations under location services and mobile data. This can be found under settings, personal and location tab. Please note that only turn on location settings as you need them. It is important not have these services running by default in the background as it reduces the risk of location tracking, saves battery power and reduces unwanted data streams initiated by applications running in the background or remotely by your mobile carrier. Caller identity. If you want to hide your caller ID, go to phone dialer, settings, additional settings, caller ID and hide number tab. Software updates. To ensure that your phone remains secure, it is strongly recommended to keep your software updated. There are two types of updates that need to be checked. The phone operating system, go to settings, about phone, updates and check for updates tab. Second is apps you have installed. Open the play store app. From the side menu, select my apps. Please note that when updating your phone software, it is important to do it from a trusted location such as your internet connection at home instead of somewhere like internet cafe or coffee shop. We have a number of tools guides for Android apps that we recommend installing on your device. These guides will walk you through installing, configuring and using the apps on your Android devices. Number one is APG app. It is a FOSS 
based software and the requirements are Android 1.5 and upper versions. APG app lets you encrypt and decrypt single files or emails for personal use or to share it with others using either public key cryptography or a passphrase. Next is Chat Secure. It is again a FOSS software and the requirements are Android 1.6 and upper versions. It is an instant messaging client that lets you organize and manage your different instant messaging accounts using a single interface. It will also attempt to encrypt your conversations using Tor when chatting with contacts who also use instant messenger clients that support Tor. K9 Mail and APG. Again, these are FOSS softwares and the requirements are Android 1.5 and upper versions. K9 Mail is a mail client that integrates with APG to allow you easily send and receive GNUPG encrypted emails. Another app is KeyPass Droid. It is also a FOSS software and the requirements are Android 1.5 and upper versions. It is a secure and easy to use password management tool which will store your passwords in an encrypted database on your phone. Obscura Cam It is a free camera application for Android devices that has the ability to recognize and hide faces. It allows you to blur or delete the faces of those you photograph in order to protect their identities. It is also a FOSS software and the requirement varies by device or board. It is a FOSS software and the requirements are Android 2.3 and upper versions. It is an app that is designed to increase the anonymity of your activities on the internet by sending your connections over the Tor network. Or web. It is a web browser that is used in conjunction with Orbo that allows you to send all your web browsing over the Tor network. It is also a FOSS software and the requirements are Android 1.6 and upper versions. Signal. Signal is also a FOSS software and the requirements are Android 2.3 and upper versions. It allows you to exchange encrypted messages and have encrypted voice calls over the internet. A valid phone number is required to register. AF Wall Plus. It is a firewall for your Android device that allows you to control what apps can access the internet. CryptFS It lets you to change your Android desk encryption password, meaning you can have a one passphrase to decrypt the phone when you turn it on and a different one to unlock the phone during normal use. Cryptonite It allows you to create encrypted passphrase protected containers on your Android device that you can store sensitive files in. Snoop Snitch It is an Android app that collects and analyzes mobile radio data to make you aware of your mobile network security and to warn you about threats like fake base station which is also known as IMSI catchers, user tracking and over the air updates. X Privacy It is an app that will prevent your Android device from leaking sensitive information such as your phone numbers, contacts, location, etc. to other installed apps on your phone. While X Privacy is free, there is a professional version that can be purchased which allows you to download restriction rules rather than you having to make them yourself. Now we will discuss about 
additional Android apps for non-rooted devices. App Lock It allows you to password protect apps on your phone so that they cannot be run without entering the correct passphrase. For example, protect your mail app with additional passphrase. Avira It is an antivirus software that will scan your phone for malicious apps and files. It will also allow you to locate your phone if lost. Cerberus It is an anti-theft solution that will allow you to locate your phone if lost or stolen. It will also allow you to remotely lock or wipe the contents of your phone. Firefox it brings the experience of Firefox browsers for the desktop to your mobile phone. Note Cipher A note-taking application that stores all notes in an encrypted container protected by a passphrase. OpenVPN for Android It allows you to tunnel your apps that connect to the internet over OpenVPN-based VPNs protecting you from monitoring. Panic button. It allows you to secretly trigger your phone to send an SMS letting a predefined list of contacts known you may be in danger. Spider Oak. It is a file synchronization tool that will allow you to easily share files between your computers and Android devices by an intermediary third-party server on the internet. All files are encrypted by the app before being uploaded to the Spider Oak servers. SureSpot It is a secure messaging app that provides end-to-end -end encryption for all messages and files sent. No personal details like phone or email are required for registration. PSI Phone 3 It helps you to try and circumvent censorship and monitoring by tunneling your internet connection over a number of different encrypted tunnels types such as VPNs and proxies. We had discussed Android security tips. I hope these tips are useful for you. Thank you.